Okay, okay. Let's see where they should go, but I think they should be unlocked by now. Specially shaped sword on search. One day you and Paimon receive a mysterious commission from the Dimitri's Guild. Protagonist wanted. They set off on a new journey searching for wondrous companions. Uh, okay, just basically. Rewards. Alright. There. Sorry. With the video uh, geofish apps. Are you finally, you're finally here? You're the protagonist, yes? That's me, your protagonist. I don't understand what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, okay, explain better. Uh, well, look at that. Too eager for my own good again. And they even told me to be concise when I was posting the commission too. Uh, here's the lowdown. I'm Ranjit, a chef of Cuisines Creative. I've been looking to get along nicely with a Paro Regis vine, but it seems uninterested in my company. Spitting fireballs and sliming the ground. Nothing I could do about that, so I'm hiring some adventure help. Of the protagonist kind, to be exact. What does he actually mean by that? Concise but clear as mud. No problem, just leave it to me. Uh, wait, are you for real? A cousin, a creative cousin chef making friends with a part of Regis Vine? Nothing about this makes any sense. Really? I mean, it is a very grumpy plane, but you never know to try, right? And after the Regis wine, I also like to give the Primal Geofish hat, Jade Plume Tower Shroom, and Millennial Pearl Seahorse ago. Okay, so you're going on the Witch Fontaine. It's getting crazier by the minute. Where did you even get these ideas from? Actually, it's because of my trip to Natland a long ago. It's a truly amazing place, and if I had to describe its marvelous novelty, it would be like the first time I ate curry spicy, enough to make me rain sweat. My tongue had taken all the stimulation it could bear, but I shoveled spoonful after spoonful in my mouth. I couldn't help myself. Speaking of which, I met a whole bunch of friends in Atlanta. They're all good folks, some taught me rock climbing, and others introduced me to the, the hot springs. Bet you didn't know this, but the people on Nathan, especially the warriors, dress in imitation of their Saurians. Ah, and when in full panoply, they look every bit as brave. Saurians, a new kind of race for NPCs or monsters. I made myself a hat based on those of my Nathan friends. Pretty awesome, huh? You know where your hat? Oh, why are you wearing a hat? Mm, sure, it is pretty unique, but Paimon can't quite tell what you're talking about just from that. True, true. I mean, I haven't got a sorry buddy with me, do I? Uh, it sure would be nice if I did, though. But I'm not a local, and to be honest, I get restless staying there for too long. Uh, they mount on Sarians, maybe. That's why I thought to get myself a companion also in Natlan that could take this part of a Sarian. But isn't the Geovish have no, the Gracious Vine kind of stuck in place? If, it does, if that doesn't work, it will make a great story to tell my Natlan friends. Uh, if that's your goal, you could have picked more suitable targets to make friends with, right? Uh, don't you find them suitable? I mean, they are even like the Nathosaurians. They aim, they are also strong to boot. A Sumter Beast companion is really nothing to brag about. I'll need a more demanding trial if I want a tale worth telling. 
the real pity is that I can't be the protagonist myself. Calming these beasts, the rage day and night, is no easy task, let me tell you. But I suppose that's your field of expertise as an experienced adventurer, right? Of course, I'll provide support from the sidelines. That's food. That's... you name it. You can leave it to me, we had to capture them. Is that it? But our, as our negotiations with the, our prospective partners, the spotlight is going to be on you, dear protagonist. Why are you foisting the dangerous stuff onto your protagonist? Because he's hiring us. The pay had better be worth the work. I'm sure you can come to an agreement if you convince me that we pay. Of course, of course, sure thing. Well, since we agreed, shall we head out now? My pots are ready and my equipment's all checked. We should be good to go. Uh, let's go. Ah, so it's not just going there and fight as usual. In this specially shaped sword on search, you can speak to Ranjit and engage in challenges of varying difficulty. Ranjit will provide you with negotiation strategies that can be of great help in combat. On fearless difficulty, you can even adjust your negotiation strategies. Uh, so many other difficulties I can't. Decreases the number of strategies to increase the difficulty of the challenges. Ah, okay, so it's like some other event that I won't remember the name. The various negotiation strategies are divided into active strategies and long-term strategies. Okay, that isn't like the other, I think. The former can be activated by you at the appropriate time. Additionally, your opponent's HP and level can also change based on the number of negotiation strategies you have selected. Complete different challenges, uh, different difficulties to obtain the corresponding ratings and rewards. You can invite a maximum of one other player to the challenge in co-op mode. The results made of the challenge will be recorded for both players. Yeah, I'm gonna try by myself. Okay, select. So if I go here, I can select. Okay. Rewards. Uh, Glorious Gold, two star. Rose, you. Okay. I suppose he gets you three stars. Ah, it's two stars. Okay, and then the platinum. I don't need platinum, there's no reward for it. Complete the challenge in time, destroy the nucleus one time. Uh, do not select more than one negotiation strategy. Okay, defeat your opponent without selecting any. Okay, destroy the elemental nucleus of the root. So basically, if I don't use the guy, a special kind of giant elemental plant that lives in seclusion underground using brightly colored flowers to lure prey down to it. After Combat begins, the Sky Searing Pyro Regis Vine. Its name wasn't written anywhere. Actually, I never pay attention. Maybe that was always its name and I just never pay attention. We form an elemental nucleus that appears similar to a pyro core of its Corolla. When the elemental nucleus has thrown. Okay, it's basically the same thing as fighting. Destroy nucleus. Okay, let's take a bunch of water. It's all active. Oh, the HP really rises. Okay, active strategy. You can cope on reduced fire binding shots to help during the challenge. My shot will interrupt the attack of the skin and will pull your score out toward the ground for a while. Uh, only the host can use active stretch. Okay, decrease the attack. On the, no, uh, uh, no, three long. Extend the duration of the stun state. Hmm. I stun its physical and all elemental resistance will be decreased. This sounds good. So, as well, the nucleus is easier to destroy. Damn, 600% health.
Uh, let's try. Yeah, why, why not? Shouldn't I choose my characters first? I want to change my party. Oh, we can configure party. Okay, for the battle games, so during the battle, all parties will be revived in their HP and the restored. Should we can just renegotiate strategy before entering combat? Press the button on the left on the menu map to check the challenge details information. Okay. Uh, no, party. With you? Most sad, uh, just. Just how our power reaches fine in Nathan Saurians alike? Uh, I'm sure you didn't know this, but Nathan is home to fire breathing Saurians. That excessive amount of pyro on your skin. Now, that's the flavor of Nathan for you. So, that's the plan. I mean, the first step of any challenge should be just starting on a lower difficulty, wouldn't you say? Yeah. A power reaches fine neither dodges nor hides. Oh, okay. And you don't have to search for it or worry that it might escape. There could be no subject more suitable. And even if negotiations will fall through, its fruit will still make for a good ingredient for some creative cooking. Uh, not that you mention it, I haven't met a single person for Bonato. Well, about that, they have a lot of reservations about leaving their land. Which I don't feel co comfortable talking about as a foreigner. I'm not too sure about the rules and taboos, but I doubt that's, that it's the unfamiliar environment that are the problem. What was the other? Can't think of much to say at the moment. Uh, okay, is it here? Did I. No, I didn't. Ah! I need to change part. Party strap. Okay. Now the I can't get you on the others. Okay, no flash definitely. Uh you know. Uh I should take a cryo with me. And let's get her. Be sanctified. I will have order. Solidify. Silence. Stay cool. Face your guilt. Now. Settle down! Let's begin. Bow your head. Not oversight on my part. Did I just destroy your thing? Wow, the time limits fight. Tight. Settle down. Stabilize. This is order. Solidify. Stabilize. It's time to get a little chilly. Bow your head. 
Enough time, but I don't think I'll be able to take all the health. Uh, during Shiston State, acceleration and it's greatly decreased the resistance. Okay. I just need two stars. Stabilize! Bow your head! A little lower its shield. The tide is missing too. Silence! Let the show begin. It's gonna get a little chilly. Let's begin. Yeah. Order guide. Damn it. The shatter is so fast. Solidify. Bow your head. The show. Huh? A moment. Settle down. Hmm. Okay, that's a little better. Bow your head. Hmm. 
Let's begin. Stabilize. Yeah, the great increase time is just the regular time. Silence. Found 
your head. A more, please. The tide is beckoning. Damage. I will have order. You nothing to fear. Stabilize. Silence. Away now. Let's dance. <laughs> Bow your head. A moment, please. This is incredibly chilly. Settle down. Let the mighty be humble. Come on, we can do it. Solidify! Hey, I'll check you out later. Okay, follow back here. Yeah. A moment, please. Settle down. The tide's back. Okay, I think it's done. Hey, sorry, I didn't really pay attention to the chat before. Uh, I'm fine. What's up? Uh, yeah, that's fine for this one. Uh, do I need to? Talk to you or should I? Uh, the challenge. It's not failed. Yeah, I do. Uh, ah, so now it's... Uh, this is a bit far from the fish head. Wait to two, I've been waiting for ages. Befriend the Pyro Regis Vignette. Uh, don't even talk about it. You negotiated a period of calm, a very, very brief one. The moment you recovered, it started trying to bump me off again. You know what? You were right. It's not possible to make friends with this creature. Still, its fruits does taste pretty good, like Pyro, in fact. Recommend not on friends who like it. What does that even li taste like? Wanna give it a try? If you want, I could. 
Uh, no, it's fine. Well, shit slime. Anyway, are you gonna move on to the to a promo deal? This happened next. That's right, I think this one's a winner to be honest. Paramo Geovish haps are quite like the the pets the pets are sorry after all. If you travel to Natalan from somewhere like I did, I reckon they'll be one of the first things you meet. Sure, whatever you say, Paman doesn't have high hopes for this one either though. Why couldn't you have gone with the hatchlings? Uh, they don't have wrong tummies. What? Jovish have hatchlings, uh, hatchlings don't have wrong tummies. I imagine it's all that incredibly quick rolling they do. That can leave much of a chance to start up fat. But the main reason still is still the lack of impact. That's what a hatchling to those friends of mine. Uh, what's a hatchling to those friends of mine who live alongside Sorius? But the uh, Primo Geovish have now that's a different story. Even as a tail, it will be worth at the time of day. And anyway, a strong protagonist gotta have strong opponents, you think? Alright, let's not tarry. Shall we go? The prim Primo Geovish have awaits. Let's away, good sir. Hey. Oh, I really like uh, Full Metal Alchemist. So I guess you'll be Edward Jauric. Mm, it's basically the same, right? Uh, let's see. Use shield to reflect damage. I'll probably be using shield. Do not select more than one. Defeat open himself. Okay, so select one because there is too much health. Mm, you can call on shield. Supporting shots during the challenge, the winter up to uh, no. You know, decreasing elemental resistance. Clear many skills on field. Mm, decrease attack, no. Remember, shield strength is increased. When a character is protected by shield, it will have the following special effects. Yeah. Attacks will unleash shockwaves. That seems good. At the op opponent's position upon hitting the opponent. Then true damage. Mm. In shields of elemental types can cause image reflex the damage to the winter problem with Geovish Hap and reduce both phys its physical and all elemental resistance. Additionally, great increases the racial resistance decreases cause a better reflect. Mm. Yeah, I guess the true damage may be better. With this one always get the same element. Yeah. Now said I would like to chat instead. By the way, how exactly are we going to eat the pirate regizoin fruit? Well, we're out in the wild so simple works best. First we need to trim the fruit shape without getting burned. Next we cut off a small piece, dig a groove into the middle of the fruit, then put it in a couple chunks of butter, water flour nectar and your preferred spices. Then we roast, all done. I said a pair of Regis wine fruit has more striking fla flavor than that of apples. Really sears itself into your memories. Doesn't sound that bad. Mm, tell me about the the pet is sorry. Oh, the little ones are awful, awfully cute. Uh, what are their big round eyes in Rolly Poly Bellies? As I said before, they're probably the first things you meet if you travel to Natlan for Sumeru. The mines in Eastern Natlan are their stopping grounds. Those mines are also home to the Nanatskayan people. Children of Echoes. Fine miners and excavators they are, and skilled appraisers of gems. Sounds boring to you, right? But they're a happy lot, especially their chief. Whatever the case, be sure to pay them a visit if you find yourself heading to Nahu in the future. Those little tepetly sorry, I mean, 
You love them. I can already tell. Okay, so... Oh. I can attack here. Uh, party setup. Ah, they went back to my regular party. Okay. Oh, she may actually be good. Oh, well, if you want to, you can leave your link to Discord or something there, but I can't really afford anything. I'm, I'm good with what I have now. Okay, so the shield. Mm, should I bring Noel? Her shield charges fast if he breaks this one. Mm, 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 mm. They aren't really well equipped here. Okay, I think I better swap him. No? Quick setup. Swap him for him. And I think her for. Her, I'm not sure. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Stabilize. Transfixed. Fallen leaves adorn my night. Come. This is where you fall. Laid bare. Look alive. Okay. Uh, I'll check there. This is order. Oh, I have no healer. Over. 
I will have order. Gather. Come on. Commendable. Witness my clouds high. Oh, okay. I don't think I did. I have the shoes. Wind strike. Order guide you. Solidify. Overrule. This is where Transfixed. Wind strike. Gather. As one with wind and cloud. This is order. Wind strike. Solidify. Witness my lies. Late bear. Gather. Transfixed. Clouds high. The birds come. Order guide you. Solidify. Damage. Late bear. Come on, just die. Okay. Exit. Uh, well, we're done here. So the next one. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know why I don't fight that? I usually had Tainari on my party. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Hydro would be good there. Huh, it isn't today another day filled with a new hope. Uh, ready to head out, friends? You hope, huh? We can take that you mean your primordial wish have communications broke down then. Come now, how could you call it a failure? Mortal Kombat is also communication of a kind. From that perspective, you could even say that we had an honest, profound exchange and gained much knowledge about our respective stances in the process. What do they say again? No friends without a fight. I knew this would happen. Well, I was doing the actual fighting. And what fighting was? Even I could tell that you are experienced adventurer even amongst the adventurers. Not giving up yet, then? Well, I'll be honest with you, it's always been my dream to ride a Jade Plum Terror Shroom all through Sumeru. Yeah, it's kind of like a Broccoli Chocobo. Uh, but the adults would, call, would all tell me to not be silly when I asked the first watchers 
they make troubled faces, tell me not to snoop in risky places. So I gave up on those unrealistic dreams and grew up normal like the other kids. My only adventures were with my choices for ingredients when cooking. But I get to thinking sometimes and then I remember that I did once have such distant strange dreams just like the Aranara of legend. But they truly exist and I once saw them. When did I stop being able to do so? When did I start forgetting them? I heard this tale about an unlucky fellow named Con Contour while in Atlant. He became the target of the son's hatred due to a mistake his father made. Contour or Contour? Contour, uh, unloved of the son, was also ostracized in his tribe and of course no Saurian would put up with him. So they're like Kokiri. But he didn't give up, nor did he blame his father or fate. Instead, he proves that he was the equal of any valiant warrior in the tribe through hard work and greed. In the end, he accomplished something great, not only earning the recognition of, the, of an ichthomosaurus comrade, but also becoming a hero to his tribe. So there are many types of saurians there. When I heard the tale, I too gained the courage to pick my childhood dream off the ground where I left. Uh, so that's the story. So yes, please do help me with the upcoming Jplum Tertium negotiations. And there you go, dumb it all on us again, we're being paid for that. That's okay. Just accept it. I mean, I'm no match for it as I am now, but I will help support you, so call me whatever you need me. No need to, no, no need for too much talk, shall we? Okay, her trigger third elemental reactions. I'll probably do it. It will be a long fight. The next select more than one negotiation without any negotiation, so it'll be a single one. Uh, 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 has a dangerous shield. Elemental physical reaction. Uh, action. Electro will command activation from the activated shed dinner shield. Uh, not in activated stage. If it receives power damage, it becomes scorched and really spars in every direction, causing exploding archly the state. After leaving the scorched state, and measurements will reform its dinner shield. Uh, and, uh, and not protected by the shield, it will reform the shield. Okay. Mm. Uh, by in shot, interruption, uh, restrain the floor for a while, uh, decrease attack, when is restrained, restrained or exhausted. Uh, uh, damage boost, when shield J plume will be able to create the endless shield. That seems pretty good. No shield, so we can just attack it with whatever. I'm on center, like chat. Tell me the tale counter. We just heard it. I gotta admit that my friend only told me the back half. I wonder what did his father do to warrant such hate from the son. If it wasn't enough to punish the poor fellow by blinding his father with go its golden arrows, ah, oh, the son blinded up guy with his golden arrows. That's a nice way to put it. The sun will hide itself behind a layer of clouds wherever he went. I hear that there are murals that record the tale, although I have never seen them myself. Speaking of which, Nathan's murals are very unique, and they are as long as they are fascinating. Sometimes I wonder if I should be bringing my camera to Nathan instead of my pot. 
Is it too hard to bring the camera anyway? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it doesn't have this dangerous shield, I suppose even enough light should be okay here. Let's check that. Solidified. 
fortify. Settle down. Shine down. Gather. Silence. Let the mighty be humble. Solidify! There is no escape! Hmm. Lay bear! Everlasting as the moon! Overrule! Yeah. Illusion shut! Bow your head! This would be a bit easier. I actually think the Geovishap was. Uh, damn, see now the seahorse. It always goes up there and it's harder to reach it. No, did I? I went to try again. Uh, okay. So, we're here in the end. What about your childhood dream? When I became an adult, I finally understood why the Force Watchers have made those faces they did. Uh, but anyway, I gave it my best shot. I also learned that you should never bring unprocess unprocessed power registering fruit near a J Plum Darushun. By the time I smelled something burning, it was already too late. Barely avoided. Drowning in the spores it poured forth. In this, forget sometimes that fungi are completely different species from shroom boars. Anyway, speaking of which, they actually are a type of fungus, right? 
And that's right, and they taste especially delicious in soup. But anyway, let's get back to the to today's challenge. You now I haven't figured out oh what to cook here. Oh right, uh you mean the negotiations, sorry. Perhaps you heard the story of the two Fontamer aberrant overlords. It speaks of how the millennial pro seahorse is described in, as being proud and noble. By contrast, the Emperor of Fire in Iron seems to be a fierce cruel being, strong but brutal. In here, I thought you'd pick a tougher opponent. After all, wouldn't a stronger opponent make for a cooler story? That is true, but the Emperor is a heavy armor crab, while the other part is a seahorse that flies. I wonder, would you call a seahorse a Pegasus? Would you call a flying seahorse Pegasus instead? Makes no difference to me. No, it makes a difference. No, I'm not sure if it's because it flies. You need to have wings to be a Pegasus, I actually think. Wait, is that the question we should be asking right now? Still, if I could only ride it even once, well, sure then. Looks like you're sticking this one out of the end. Well, we are here, aren't we? Surely we can live empty-handed. Anyway, let's head out once you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, should have brought the ones where to take these stacks. Elemental reactions. Destroy one. Okay. You can couple ranged fire supporting shots, high damage, uh, decrease attack of the enraged uh, after the Xenomer Pearl is destroyed. The enraged Malino Seahorse will require more time to regenerate a new one. Enraged Malino Pearl Seahorse will gain less, less physical in all elemental resistance from the Pearl. Hmm, I think more downtime would be better. Maybe the same party I use for the other would be nice. Mm. Be better to have a healer here. Uh, I think. No, what's. Oh, yeah, she has Paro. Okay. Her as healer. Stabilize! 
everlasting as the moon. Gather. Wind strike. Clouds high. The birds come. Order guide you. Solidify. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Time to go. Overrule. Wind strike. Wind strike. Witness my rise. Blade bear. As one with wind and cloud. Then it's a kill. I will have order. Stabilize. Transfixed. 
Wind strike. Clouds high. The birds come. Let the world Everlasting as the moon! Overrule! Okay, but I was almost dying there. I think this one was the easiest. Thanks for your hard work over the last few days. We did deviate from our original goal, sure, but I for one have gained much from these experiences. It was quite a series of battles, yes. I feel like the opponents you picked were especially tough. Yeah, they had too much health. Gain much, don't you mean learn a lot of lessons? That too, yes, cultivating friendships is a long term process. And you need to spend more time after making your pick, not like what we did this time. Just like Nathan was once the land of ancient dragons, uh, the dragon, the sovereign dragons, they are of origin from there. And it is now a land where humans and sorrows promote mutual trust in one another, becoming comrades who live side by side. I wonder how long that must have taken. Hmm, I suppose I was too over eager. I thought we could gain their respect by beating them, which is why I picked such blood methods. If we had taken our time from the start, perhaps feeding them every day and trying to get closer to them might have boosted our chances. Yeah. That's not reasonable enough until you remember that the targets you pick aren't your everyday dogs or cats. True, true. They are more like the Sarians of Nathan. That is why I picked them, after all. Imagine that my friends there would understand what an extraordinary thing I'd done when I relate these experiences to them. But my students don't seem to see the similarities. The Primo Jovish have a side, but you, you do you. Mm, the others were quite similar too. The colors, for example. It's If that's where your head is, then slimes would also be similar enough, no? I see where you're coming from. They are both elemental creatures. Perhaps the slimes do have the potential to become sorrions. Does that mean that I should try making friends with slimes first? This plan is suddenly looking very scaled down. Slimes would be a safer option, if nothing else. It's our relative, though. We often see newbie adventures in ordinary passerbys, rendered immobile by slimes who surrounded them. And still, I won't know till I try. Thanks so much for your help. With any luck, I'll have gained a comrade or two for my adventures. And thus qualify as the protagonist of my very own tale. Have a pleasant journey. Hmm, something else, gonna head out now. Ah, tell me about the flame companion. Alright, oh, uh, going back to the story about Counter and his companion, Ictomisaurus, was a saurian with great powers of light. You could even say that without uh, Ictomisaurus's help, Counter would have found his success much harder to win. A flame companion is pretty convenient, and... Come to think of it, yours flies too, so she have any special skills. She can make terrifying amounts of food disappear nigh instantaneously. Amazing! Any chef worth their salt would be overjoyed to hear of such a skill. Let me cook for her next time, alright? My friends from Nathan all told me that I should stay and cook for the Sorians. I said I'd be a smash hit. 
so yeah i'm sure your company will enjoy my food too okay and the last one tell me about the hot springs uh i've seen a few in fontaine were there hot springs fontaine oh yeah, yeah there were how did Nassius call you? I hear that wherever the Emperor of Fire and Iron dwells, the waters there are exceptionally hot. But Nassius' hot springs are different. Now, how should I put it? They can heal wounds of body and spirit both, like in Zelda. That's what makes them so addictive, in fact. Just that? Okay, so I guess we're done. What about the rewards? Nice. Yeah, that one was the longest one to defeat. Alright. Now, let me just check. There should be something here. Or. Yeah, I already got everything. But uh, yeah. Just. Not that it matters after I got completed it. But alright. And I guess that's it. Uh. I don't know when there's gonna be another event, but I should play again. Should do some regular quests before. So I'm off.